Is Roblox still lagging, stuttering, or dropping FPS on your PC? Today, we are putting Blockstrap and Voidstrap to the test to find out which one is the best Roblox FPS booster in 2025. I'll walk you through every setting, fast flags, and optimization steps so you can boost FPS, fix lag, and get that smooth low ping experience. So stick around because the results might surprise you. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Optimize Windows settings for best Roblox performance. Windows includes many visual effects to make your computer look nice, such as animations and shadows. So first, open the Windows search bar. You can press the Windows key on your keyboard and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. When you see it appear, click on it. A window will appear called Performance Options. Inside this window, select the option that says Adjust for Best Performance. This choice will automatically turn off all the extra animations such as window fading, shadows, and other effects that take up memory and slow your PC down. If you still want your screen to look good and readable, scroll down and manually check only these two boxes. Smooth edges of screen fonts. Show thumbnails instead of icons. After you check those two, click the Apply button to save the changes. Now, go to the Advanced tab at the top of the Performance Options window. Under the section called Processor Scheduling, select the option Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This setting makes sure your PC focuses its processing power on programs you are using, such as Roblox, instead of background services. Finally, click OK to close everything and apply your changes. Now your computer will spend less energy on visuals and more energy powering your games, especially Roblox. Step 2. Improve Roblox performance using Blockstrap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we are going to use a tool called Blockstrap Launcher along with special Fast Flag settings to improve Roblox performance and boost your FPS. Afterward, we will compare Blockstrap with another tool called Voidstrap to see which one performs better. Start by downloading Blockstrap Launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. When the download is finished, install it. Once the installation is complete, open Blockstrap and click on Configure Settings. This will show you all of the important options available. The first tab you should check is the Integrations tab. Inside here, there are many helpful settings. For example, you can enable Allow Multi-Instance Launching, which lets you open Roblox multiple times. You can turn on Query Server Location, which will show you the location and country of the Roblox server you are connected to. You can enable Show Game Activity and Show Reference Account, which will allow your Discord friends to see which account you are using and what Roblox game you are currently playing. Next, go to the Bootstrapper tab. This tab has some smaller settings, such as asking for confirmation before opening Roblox again. These settings are simple and not very exciting, but they are still useful. Then go to the Mods tab. This is where you will find the Mods folder. This folder is where you can place custom textures, sounds, and other modifications. Be careful not to change anything here unless you know what you're doing. There are also some fun options such as use old death sound, mouse cursors, and old avatar editor background, which bring back older Roblox features for fun. Now go to the engine settings tab, which is the most important part of Blockstrap. In this section, you will find many settings that control graphics and performance. You can adjust these settings to increase FPS, lower ping, and reduce input delay. Making these changes will help your game feel much smoother and faster. If you want to use fast flags, Download the FPS Boost Pack from the description. Inside the Engine Settings tab, scroll to the bottom where you will see the Fast Flag Editor. Here, you can paste in custom Fast Flags to improve Roblox performance. You can also change font styles inside this section. The last two tabs are Appearance and Shortcuts. These are not very exciting, but they allow you to change the look of Blockstrap and add shortcuts for faster access. Now let's test Blockstrap with Fast Flags. Inside the FPS Boost Pack, you will find a Google Docs link labeled FPS. Open it and press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy all of the fast flags listed there. Go back into Blockstrap, click on Import JSON, and paste the fast flags you copied. This will add them and turn them on automatically. Now close Blockstrap, reopen it, and then launch Roblox to test your FPS. After testing, we will compare it with Voidstrap. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First. Download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. 
For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Boost Roblox FPS Using Void Strap and Fast Flag settings. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we will try another launcher called Voidstrap to see if it gives better performance compared to Blockstrap. First, download Voidstrap Launcher from the FPS Boost Pack. After it has finished downloading, install it. Then, open the Windows search bar, type Voidstrap, and click to open it. Once Voidstrap is open, go to the Settings tab. Under the Integrations tab, you will see similar options to Blockstrap, such as multi-instance launching. Voidstrap also has player message logs and a few other extra features, but nothing too major here. Next, go to the Deployment tab. This section has very helpful features. One of them is multi-instance launching, which lets you open more than one Roblox game at the same time. While Blockstrap also has this, Voidstrap may be more stable when using it. There is also a feature called cross-game teleportation, which allows you to move between games. I have not tested this feature yet, but it seems interesting. Now open the Modifications tab. This section looks very similar to Blockstrap, with options for the Mods folder, old Roblox sounds, and other customizations. The Fast Flag Editor in Voidstrap is different from Blockstrap because it shows small green check marks and red X's next to each flag. These symbols show which flags are preset and which ones are custom, which makes it easier to manage them. At the top of Voidstrap, there are buttons labeled Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. There are also profiles, which allow you to save sets of flag settings for later. These tools make Voidstrap more advanced and powerful compared to Blockstrap. Now paste in your fast flags just like before. Click Import JSON, paste the copied flags, and then save them. Before testing, you should also look at the Fast Flag Settings tab. This tab includes many pre-made flag settings that you can enable with a single click, without needing to type anything. These pre-made settings help lower ping and boost FPS. Voidstrap also has Appearance and Shortcuts tabs, just like Blockstrap. However, Voidstrap includes an extra feature called AI Chat. This is still in beta, but in the future you will be able to ask it questions about fast flags and other settings. Once everything is set, save your changes, launch Roblox, and test how much FPS you get using Voidstrap. Step 4. Make your CPU work even better. Using Park Control, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we are going to use a program called Park Control to make your CPU run at full power and improve Roblox performance. Start by downloading and installing Park Control. After it has finished installing, open the program. Scroll down to find the performance profiles and select Bitsum Highest Performance. This profile makes sure that your CPU always works at maximum speed and does not slow down. Now change the following settings inside Park Control. Parking AC, set to 100% and turn it off. Parking, DC set to 100% and turn it off. Frequency scaling. AC, set to 100% and turn it off. Frequency scaling. DC, set to 100% and turn it off. Next, look for a setting called Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Make sure it is turned on. This feature keeps extra CPU threads turned off when you don't need them, but automatically turns them on when you start gaming. Finally, go to your computer's power options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active power plan. Double check that every power setting is set to 100%. When you are finished, click Make Active and then click Apply. Your CPU is now fully optimized and ready to give the best performance for Roblox. Step 5. Make your keyboard respond faster in Roblox. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. In this step, we are going to make your keyboard react faster when you press keys, which is especially important for fast Roblox games. Open a program called Filter Keys Setter. Inside this program, change the following settings. Set ignore under to zero milliseconds. Set repeat delay to 130 milliseconds. Set repeat rate to 10 milliseconds. On the right side, check the box to enable these settings, then click OK to save everything. Now, your keyboard will respond instantly when you press a key, giving you faster reaction time in Roblox. Step six, use game mode and graphics settings to make Roblox run better. 
First, open the Windows search bar and type Game Mode. Click on it when it appears, then switch it to On. This setting makes Windows focus its resources on your game and reduce background activity. Next, search for Graphics Settings in the Windows search bar and open it. In the Graphics Settings window, click Browse and navigate to the folder where Roblox is installed. Add Roblox to the list, click on it, then select Options. Choose Performance and click Save. This ensures that your graphics card gives maximum power to Roblox for the best performance possible. If this guide helped you lower ping, improve FPS, and make Roblox run smoother, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Roblox optimization videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.